This is the painting we're going to do today. This is a white rose on a black background. We're very simple, easy techniques. I'm going to show you how to paint this. Let's get started. Now the colors that you need for this painting today are Tantanium White and Cat Yellow and Sap Green and Ultramarine Blue and Burnt Upper. That's it. And the brushes you need for this painting today are the flat chiseled edge a synthetic brush and you can get a, have a couple of different sizes this is size 12 so this one must be a, a 10 or 12 but get them in different sizes small medium or large is what I always say and an angular brush okay and you would like be nice to have a filbert this is a small filbert it's good and a long liner brush and that's all you need for this painting today because it's very very simple so today I think I'll say hello to a lot of people out there who have uh, subscribed to my channel and who sent me their paintings and if I put on my magic glasses I'm sure I'll be able to see you let's see let's see oh there you are I see you now I see Brian and I see Vera and I see Peyton and I see Presley and I see Claude and I see Chrissy hi Chrissy I see Katie and Greg and Alicia I do. so this is the pretty painting white roses on a black background that I promised and you're going to do it on a black background now all I did was I made my black background uh, that's a size eight and a half by eleven canvas so, and uh, I just put black paint on there or you can use black gesso so on your black background you are going to take some of your ultramarine blue so you have to get a background for our white flower you have to have color in order to show white okay so i'm going to gray it up with ultramarine blue and burnt umber and you can use black if you rather if you don't have those colors and then lots of white and you get your nice background ready for your flower. It's almost like a gray color. All right let's try that. So all you have to do is decide where you want your flower and then you make a circle. So you get a big circle. Good. So make a big circle. Good. It was not dark enough, just add a little bit more blue and burnt umber. Nice gray background. Nice big circle. So the circle will determine the size of your rows. Okay, good. Nice big circle. Just get it on there the best way you can. Good. Paint. Get that nice and thick. Doesn't matter too much about the outer edges because that's where your petals are going to go. That's nice and big. Leave some room for other flowers. Like I say, it could be bigger. You can fill up the whole space if you want to. Good. So now you keep your um, color, your background color, on your brush. And you can refill it up again if you want to. Reload it. And then put on the corner of your brush your white paint. Just on the corner. I got lots on there. And with the white side up, you make a half circle or a C. So with the white side just outside of that circle, you touch on the chisel edge and push and make your half circle or your C. Good. And now you reload again with your white on the corner of your brush. Always reload. 
and touch where you ended off on that petal and touch on the chiseled edge push and make a semicircle or a C another one the way it goes just outside that color there good touch push and make a semicircle good we'll do another one white side outside the circle touch push and around good now they don't have to be all exactly the same size reload every time okay touch push and make a C good it's a little tricky around some of the corners here as long as the weight is outside good coming along there we go touch push and half a circle now if you start to run out of your underpainting your shadow color just put some more on there just fill it up fill up your brush okay and then get the corner of your brush again depends on what hand if you're right or left handed so you may want to put on the other corner so you uh, you work it the way you are whatever hand you are so as long as the weights outside the circle touch push make the letter C touch push make the letter C good isn't that pretty already so reload your brush with the the dark gray color with the gray color and then put some white in the corner of your brush like that as long as the, the bottom is it's like a heel toe so if you want to call the white the toe and the heel will be the shadow color and then you can come and start instead of starting exactly under that petal to make it interesting we can start in between those petals so come down a little bit touch and make half circle touch make a half circle now if you lose your white just go get more and do that one again touch good good reload if you reload you get nice white edges to your petals good and you start on where you left off reload and touch good reload your dark color put white on the corner and do another one Okay, they can be small or big, doesn't matter. Touch. When you get used to them, then you'll be able to do them faster. Okay. Okay, let's do some more. And let's come in closer. So let's go in here. Touch. Semicircle. Reload. Touch semicircle or half C I should say semicircle or the letter C backward C forward C whatever works touch push there we go getting there and touch push 
come around, reload, touch, and again. See how pretty that is? Let's make some smaller ones. Now what you need to do now is you have to change to a smaller brush. Let's change to an angular brush, a small angular brush. Okay, let's try this one. And we do have a heel toe here. See the toe? Okay, and you reload with your reload with your darker color. Just put that on there and then take the corner of your brush and tap into your white until you get a bit of white on your brush. And then start in here. Touch and circle. Okay. Reload. Touch. Semicircle. Reload. Touch. Semicircle. We should be able to fit one up here somewhere. Getting there. Good. So you got that. Now, reload, and if you want to, you can make a semicircle or half C in here, just a small one, like that, and then give it a hug, come around the other way, and that gives it kind of like a little bud in the middle there. All right. Good. Now, if you see any edges that need to be cleaned up, you can go back over them again. Just reload. Just do it again. If you feel that maybe this one here needs to be adjusted, just go back up and over. And then you can bring the other one down underneath. There we go. Okay. That's one rose. So in order to make another rose, all you have to do is make another circle. So you can make another one here if you like. Good. Just get that paint on there. Good. So just make the circle as big as you want your rose. Another pretty rose right here. They're so easy, aren't they? There we go. There's so many different ways you can make roses. But this to me seems to be the easiest way. Yep. So you just fill that in. Get your circle. Good, 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 good. Perfect. And now you make sure you have your darker paint on there. And on the toe, uh, and this is the flat brush this time. Okay, this is a flat. I'm not using, you can still use your angular brush if you want to. You can switch between brushes. And as long as you got the white on the corner of your brush and the dark on the bottom or on the whole brush then you're fine. So just start wherever you want. White side up, touch, come around. See, I have to go over it a couple of times because I went too far outside and the black started to come through, okay? So then you go around again. There we go. Touch and around. Reload with your dark color because that may dry up on you. White on the corner. Touch and around. See with the corner that uh, gives you that nice light petal on the edge there? You just touch, come around. 
and white outside. It's a nice little petal there. Okay, and then we'll do another one. Let's make sure you got lots of paint on your brush. That helps easy, make it much easier for you. Make sure you got your shadow color on there because you'll see it go all white on you. You don't want that. You need some shadows in order to show the white. Okay, good. Good. Let's see what else we can do. Let's get outside that circle a little bit. Good. There we go. One here. Another one here. And then you just move in. Move in under what you just did. Touch and go around the semicircle. around. So I'm making them a little bit smaller this time because it's a smaller rose. Don't forget to put your shadow color on your whole brush and then the corner of white. That way you get to keep your shadows. I keep reloading every time I'm doing a new petal. See? Reload. Now. Reload. Okay, we're getting there. Go inside again. All those pretty petals. Pretty petal. Let's see, if we can get one up here. Good. And a little one in here. And if you want a little one, you can change brushes or you can hang on to the one you have and just touch and pull around. Get a little one in the center. Good. See, quick and easy. You can make all, ki all kinds of roses. Yeah, you can. This one here needs a little more, so you can go back over it again. Right, and just go back over it again. Good. 